The dire warnings about global warming and increasing evidence that those warnings are true have moved many leaders to press for more decisive action to fight climate change. Among them, EPP Group MEPs involved in writing and driving legislation through the European Parliament so that Europe meets its commitments to cut emissions and shows leadership on the issue. One important action is reforming the Emissions Trading System, or ETS, which allows the buying and selling of CO2 emissions, setting a market price on CO2, and encouraging companies to cut back. Ivo Bellet co-wrote the legislation and is the EPP Group's spokesperson on the issue. That's the main objective. Those are the fundamentals of the European emission trading system that you use, offer and demand on the market in order to tackle climate change. The aim is to rein in the emissions of over 12,000 industrial plants and energy suppliers in the EU, ensuring a total reduction of 40% of CO2 emissions by 2030. You have emission trading system which tackles uh, emissions from industry, which tackles emissions from uh, all energy sectors in, in Europe on the basis of offer and demand, so by means of um, indeed a uh, market instrument. But that's not enough. We have to tackle also the renewable strategy. We have to tackle also energy efficiency. With an international carbon market, ETS is also aimed at protecting industries from unfair international competition and avoiding so-called carbon leakage, or businesses locating operations outside the EU to avoid regulation. Peter Lisa is the EPP Group's spokesperson on the Environment Committee. We are leader in climate change, but we can only lead by example if we show the world that it is possible to keep the jobs even create more jobs to innovate and not to have a climate policy that is good for the climate but not good for the people and uh, the jobs. Looking beyond 2020, NEPs have pressed to involve other sectors in the fight to cut greenhouse gases, including transport, buildings and agriculture. That's part of the EU objective to cut emissions overall by up to 95% by 2050. Also part of that is so-called effort sharing, binding emissions reductions for each member state with some flexibility. Wealthier ones have agreed to sharper cuts. The ETS is only one instrument of the European Union. It covers almost half of the emissions, but the other 50% are outside the ETS. And there it's important to have targets for the member states. They have to give incentives to insulate the buildings. We have to do something in agriculture and in transport. Land use and forestry are other key factors in limiting greenhouse gases to fight climate change. The European Parliament, with EPP Group leadership in negotiating it, called for a comprehensive effort for all sectors to stop deforestation by encouraging sustainable forest management. Bellet says it's all part of the big picture strategy. And those combined efforts are indeed the fundamentals of the European uh, strategy to tackle climate change. I want to implement the engagement of Paris and want to be at the forefront of tackling that the climate change uh, issue. The EPP group is the only group that balances jobs and growth and climate. A good example is leading by example, using modern technologies and keep the jobs and the growth while reducing the emissions.